Hey there, I'm Nadine Peart from Healthy You, Healthy Love. I'm a coach for smart, savvy women looking for united love. And today, I'm going to be talking about why you attract the wrong men. Now, in the past, I did a video on the topic of why you're attracted to the wrong men. And even though there is a difference between who you attract and who you're attracted to, they are interrelated, which means both of these videos support each other. So after this video, please be sure to check out my other video and you'll find the link to this video in the description. Now before we continue, please be sure to subscribe, click that bell button to get notified of my next hot topic and be sure to comment below and tell me a little bit about you and your relationship situation and please share this video with at least one friend in need of support when it comes to life and love. So here we go, here are five reasons why you could be attracting the wrong men. Let's start with the most important point number one. Women attract all types of men. Sure, your mindset does influence who you attract on some level, which I'll explore further soon. And yet, if you're female and you're out and about or online, you will attract an array of men. The kind, the witty, the more serious, the Casanovas. Who you stay with is your choice. You get to choose who you invest time in and who you sign up for or invest time in is being driven by you. What you think you deserve is within you. You're not at the mercy of men, you're at the mercy of you. Red flags can be seen early on, so pay attention. Number two, you're signaling the wrong message. Do you signal to men that you're interested in a relationship or do you signal that you're interested in for some fun or maybe the way you talk to a man would suggest that you're not interested at all when in fact you're as keen as mustard. You see some men can do casual quite easily while they wait for their Ms. Right and even though you could be his Ms. Right if you're signaling to him that you're Ms. Casual just for fun he won't see you as anything more. Desiring someone and wanting to hook up casually does not mean they're going to commit to you and many women confuse sensuality with sexuality. If you want to attract a man for love, then it's important to lead with that kind of energy. This energy is very different to the more sexual hookup energy. And to help you with knowing the difference, I have the perfect free gift called Flirting for Love or Fun that will assist you to work out what kind of flirter you are and how to flirt with a man in a way that signals to a man that you're a relationship kind of gal. You're a keeper, not a good time girl. If you haven't read this yet, you'll find the link to this gift right below in the description. Now number three, you commit to men who are not committed to you. I've always said just because you're married or living together does not mean you're wholeheartedly committed to each other. Sharing the same postal address is not the same as truly sharing an intimate and devoted life with someone. Also in the early stages of dating or relationship, people show us how committed they are to us and how they do commitment. Sure, some men are not invested because they're not interested enough in us for whatever reason. That said, their lack of commitment may not be solely about us. Some people, both men and women, are not vulnerable enough and healthy of heart and mind to be able to commit to someone they love. I know what it's like to be in a relationship with someone who I know loved me deeply and yet they were not able to love me in a way that felt safe and healthy to me. Just because they love you does not mean they're wholeheartedly committed. This can be painful and yet it's a critical distinction. And to take this a little bit deeper, if they're not committed to themselves, they cannot commit to you. If a person is not committed to loving and honoring the self, they won't be able to love and honor you. So if you wonder why I attract the wrong men, perhaps you're not loving you and honoring you enough by being with someone who's not loving and honoring you or themselves. It's somewhat of a mirror and can be a painful cycle if not broken. Number four, you're a fixer, the coach, the mummy. You may tend to want to fix people's problems which sees you attracting men with a lot of personal issues or baggage that may get in the way of a long-term commitment if left unchecked. 
you have to ask yourself, are you his coach, his mummy, his fixer? If you know this is the kind of role you've taken on, then I suggest you start wondering why you're inclined to want to fix people. What does this role do for you? How does this make you feel of value and worthy? Sure, we can all go through tough times in our lives and the support of a partner is part of partnership and yet if you're not getting anything back or any support back, you have to ask yourself if this is for you or can you change the way you approach relationships? Also, ask yourself, what are you trying to heal or hide from from within you? Can you be of value without trying to coach or fix someone? Number five, superficial attraction. You like the way he looks, perhaps the sex, his fancy car, his compliments, or lots of affirmations and approval. Having someone affirm our existence is not the problem because we all desire this on some level, though there are women who take this to an unhealthy level. I remember working with a client who would attract men and stay with men who approved of her. If they said something along the lines of, I believe in you, then she was sold. It didn't matter who he was, as long as they approved of her, she was in. After we worked together, she realized that she did not approve of herself, she didn't value herself, and this is why she'd stay with men who she wasn't that into. At that time, until she healed and did the internal work, she was an external seeker of approval and her partners were essentially her fixers, maybe her daddies. When you're unsure and unclear of your own values, you tend to be unsure of what you value in a partner as well. It's hard to find the right one when you don't even know what is right for you. And further to what I've said, when you're attracted to someone predominantly on a superficial level, you may also attract someone who's predominantly superficially interested in you. When what you value on a deeper level is secondary to the surface wants and needs, then it's very difficult to have a long-term and healthy relationship. You will always feel shortchanged and out of integrity. In a nutshell, the message of this video is, if you want to attract a loving and kind man into your life, it's critical to know what you value in a partner, cause many different types of men will cross your path. So perhaps it's time to write down your top five core values and invite that man to show up. When we deviate from our values, we tend to end up unhappy. Now before I go, I want to share something very exciting for you. My program Secrets of the Irresistible Lover is going to support you immensely with this topic because it explains how to attract a man in the right kind of way. When you send out the right kind of signals, you get the right kind of man. Learn the art of sensual connection and the top five needs men have that inspires deep lasting love and commitment. In Secrets of the Irresistible Lover, I go into great detail as to how to captivate men in a deeper, heartfelt and sensual way, not just the sexy way. The link is right below in the description. Also, before you go, please take a moment to comment below and tell me about your relationship challenges, wants and desires. I want to find out about you and what your needs are so I can support you on your path to big, sexy and united love. And be sure to subscribe and click that bell button to get notified of my new video and share this video with at least one friend looking for love. It's been a pleasure to have you here with me and I look forward to seeing you at my next video.